So if you're looking for something fun and new to do in Louisville later this week, the Speed Art Museum has a new exhibit and it is free. The Speed is offering free admission for its up upcoming exhibition, Louisville's Black Avant Garde, Robert L. Douglas. Douglas was a longtime resident of the West End, a former community organizer and a teacher and a mentor for generations of artists. Joining me now is Dr. Fari Nzinga, curator of academic engagement and special projects, and Jackie Osman, the associate director of marketing and communications. Ladies, thanks for joining us here at Great Day Live today. Thank you so much for having us. We can't underscore enough the influence um, that Robert Douglas had on the community. Like for people that may not be familiar with Fari, um, he was an important figure. Yes, very important. He was a professor emeritus at UofL and he taught in the art history um, as well as the Pan-African Studies Department. And he taught there from the early 1970s up until very, very recently. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he passed away in February while he was still teaching a class. I mean, the man wow. was just indefatigable. So he was educating so many generations of students and thinkers. Some people went into the arts, but probably most of them didn't. And they can, you know, really thank him for shaping how they think about what art is, what its function is, and who an artist is in society. We're looking at some of the um, some of the portraits, some of the pictures that will be on display through the exhibition. How many do you have? And I mean, is it safe to say it's some some things that nobody's ever seen before or rarely seen before? Yes. So we have about 30 of his works that will be in the exhibition. Some of them are coming. Uh, actually, the majority of them are coming from his personal collection. There is a selection from a series that was only shown in its entirety one time. So we're just showing a selection from that series so that people can get a taste. Um, we've got some drawings and posters, we've got paintings, sculpture, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Um, how did it come about that you all would have all of his work? How did, that, how did that happen and come together? Well, what really took place was that a colleague of mine named Sarah Battle, shout out to you, homegirl. <laughs> um, she's actually based at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., and she came across a painting by Kenneth Young, another Louisville-based artist who made his name in the art world. And um, she was really curious about who was this artist and what was the context for him to create this work. So she did a research project where she did oral histories here in the city of Louisville, mm -hmm. talking to his contemporaries and his you know, running mates. And that's when she learned about people like Professor Douglas. And she brought that information to the speed and I got the opportunity to meet her and she made all kinds of introductions. So we're really building upon her scholarly uh, foundation. And I, was, I had the wonderful fortune of being able to work directly with Professor Douglas before his recent passing. And he was just so wonderful, I had so many stories to tell about his time at the Height Art Institute in the 1950s. Um, he was only in the second class that was integrated. People don't realize that this is very recent history that people can um, talk about, you know, in their lives. And Jackie, we mentioned uh, there's free admission for this. Now, yeah. why was it important not only for you to have this exhibition, but make sure it was free and open to everyone? Yes. Yeah, so we've been doing free admission on Sundays for a while now, thanks to um, the Brown Foreman Foundation, and now um, we will be having free admission from June 30th through October 1st, um, thanks to Eleanor Bingham Miller. And we just want to really make sure the whole community is able to experience this incredible exhibition and see um, Professor Douglas's work and the influence he had on the city. Yeah. And I think that this really speaks to what you do with the speed is that it, it, it's not just featuring these massive, big exhibitions that come through town for a limited period of time. You're just really showcasing and highlighting artists that you need to know more about that may be from our community that may not. You're really, you're raising our level of awareness is what, what you're, you're focused on there, right? Yeah, and yeah. a great opportunity to what see opportunity. this exhibition. Um, again, with a free mission every day, we're open from 
uh, 10 to 5 Wednesday through Saturday and 12 to 5 on Sundays. But July 6th, we're open late. So we're doing a family night. You can come see this exhibition for free and there'll be all kinds of additional programming to see it as well. Anything else coming up uh, this July, August that, that you wanna let people know about? I feel like we get into July and, and we're all looking around going, what do we do? <laughs> uh, what do we do with the kids? And I think what better place uh, than to take them to the speed during, during the summertime and, and show off everything that we have there. Yeah, there's so many programs happening this summer. So we're participating in the cultural pass. Every Thursday, there's special pass, opportunities yeah. um, for families who want to visit the speed. And then we have all of our cinema screenings ready um, for you on our website for July and August. So definitely check those out. Um, and Art Sparks is always a fun place for families to explore. So lots happening this summer for sure. Well, ladies, thank you so much for stopping by and, and letting us know a little bit more about him. This has been it's been wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. So for more information, just head on over to speedmuseum.org. And stay with us because coming up, we're going to take a look at uh, some other